Hi everybody. Welcome to Healing with Love. Thank you so much for joining me. So today we're going to be discussing the Kundalini. So we're going to be discussing it as well as doing a little um, Reiki session to help move that energy up. Now this is not, this is a little warning um, disclaimer here. This is not for the faint of heart. This is for the advanced souls that have done a lot of uh, healing, a lot of releasing, a lot of letting go. Um, because it can be a scary experience if you're not familiar with this process. Um, many people really feel like they might be losing their mind as that energy begins to move up. It's just a very surreal experience. Now this is, the Kundalini is the, you know, the Shakti energy. It is the, at the base of the spine, the energy. And so it's, it's like a snake. Uh, the energy moves up your spine uh, to the crown, blows the roof off the crown and it's, a, it's an intense experience. Um, so I'm going to just discuss a little bit about my, my journey before we get into um, the healing aspect. And um, I did put a, a checklist of seven items that I suggested before watching this video. Um, they're not um, mandatory, but they are recommended. So you can feel free. Uh, I'll put link it down in the description below. So I've had two two different Kundalini awakenings. Um, one was uh, spontaneous, um, without the help of Mother Medicine, and one was with the help of Mother Medicine. And Mother Medicine is, you know, DM, DMT, uh, ayahuasca, psilocybin. Uh, there's various different ways to awaken this energy. So I'm just going to discuss a few things. So first and foremost, we want to release fear uh, and control. You want to let go of controlling it. Uh, you just want to let it flow like the ocean, let it take you wherever it needs to take you. And you know, if if you're if you're still holding on to a lot of fear, whether this is the fear of death, the fear of religious, you know, the wrath of God, etc., um, this might make the experience a very bumpy ride. So, um, if you still want to do this, uh, I suggest maybe a talisman for protection, just to help you feel safe, because we want to feel safe during this experience. So you can use, you know, if you have like something special, you know, like a, a here's some black tourmaline or something to help you feel safe, whatever it is that that is to you. So um, nothing can physically harm you on this journey. So always remember that. Uh, be prepared to metaphorically die and re be born. So it's the death of the ego. Um, you know, we we do need the ego. It does serve a purpose. Uh, when an ego is balanced, it keeps us safe, keeps us from making um, rash decisions that might harm us. So, you know, the ego needs to die and be reborn. It, uh, all these limited belief systems that we have, they need to die and we need to be reborn. Fresh slate, clean. So we also want to release any shame, we want to release any guilt. Uh, so. You know, the toughest one I've already mentioned is religion. Religion is a deep programming uh, passed down from generation to generation. It's in your DNA. So the fear of hell is big for a lot of people because they were taught that there is this um, almighty being that will, you know, smite them if they do even the wrongest things. So we want to release it all now. So this process, uh, it may feel like an intense arousal. I'm going to be blunt. It may feel like uh, you are very turned on when that when the Kundalini begins to awaken. You feel it at your root. You feel it at, you know, all the way up to you know your belly button. You feel that energy. It feels like you you're aroused. So you may feel the need to masturbate or want to masturbate, and a lot of people do. So this. You know, as soon as you masturbate, you didn't even allow the energy to move up. You just released it. So that, that sexual energy is very powerful. Um, we want to move that sexual energy up to the crown. And it may feel uncomfortable. You know, it may feel like you have, in the men, it may feel like blue balls, if you've ever heard that term. Um, it is a little bit painful. But once you move that energy past that 
that initial blue balls feeling it subsides um, and once you start moving that energy up to your crown you will start to feel your crown tingle so before where it was your your sexual organs tingling now you're moving that energy up to the crown so there are various different ways that we can um, awaken the kundalini so I've already discussed um, mother earth medicine that is a I'd say it's one of the instant ways of reaching it um, there's the spontaneous way and that is when you know the universe just decides that you are ready for it um, but you just have to be prepared you know they have breath of fire we have yoga kundalini yoga but we also have stretching stretching uh, if you do yoga and you are um, is your kundalini is close to awakening you will start feeling the energy in your hands you'll feel you know at your fingertips on your feet you'll feel the, the tingly force chanting is great as well so sound uh, movement is great as well dancing you know jumping up and down getting that body movement movement uh, meditation always great breathing from the root to the crown um, like I said these are all just you know ways there's always the spontaneous way and that is intention just wanting it to awaken um, but not a desperation just knowing that it is there it is like the snake you know you you always see the guy playing the flute and he's charming the snake out of its little container and so that's what you want to do it's natural it's not forceful you just move it up so it's it's uh, imperative to do a lot of healing work so gratitude is key opening the heart that is one of the main pathways of energy so we want to clear the lower pathways which would be the sacral and the solar plexus get it up to the heart so I'm going to use a few crystals um, so I'm going to use appetite ruby and garnet we're going to place the garnet at your crown the ruby at your heart and the appetite at your earth star and normally that would be flipped right because usually the garnet and the ruby are on the bottom but we're going to flip it because we want to start moving that energy up up to the crown so i'm just going to place these here and then I'm gonna work with these other crystals. So so now I'm just gonna discuss a little bit about my experience um, with my Kundalini Awakening. And so the first, first time was intense. It was a, I went through every chakra, the feeling of each one. So the fear of the root chakra and the shame that we hold in our sacral chakra and the willpower the times that we didn't have the willpower to do something moved it up and then the forgiveness aspect all that energy just moved up and I felt a tremendous all these feelings just all the way up to my crown and it felt like and I've, I've talked about this before it felt like a video game um, like when you go to a carnival and you do the strength machine and you hit it with a little a uh, little mallet and it just goes from the bottom to do 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 it was like that it was an electrical current that just went straight through me like a almost like a, a video game it went boop, 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 and it raised it went all the way to the top and it was i saw all the, the different colors associated with each chakra as they were moving up and then when it hit the crown it was white and i understood the oneness and the connection with everything and everyone and how we are all one so that was one experience and the spontaneous that that was with um psilocybin so psilocybin so the next one was with um a spontaneous experience so the next one the same experience i i got an intense fear um because i didn't know what was happening since it was spontaneous i wasn't expecting it uh, it was almost a feeling that I had died i had felt this intense fear and i had to really release that fear and feel safe and it moved up I was showing it was like a life review I was shown all the things that I was holding in my energy centers 
all the things, all the times that I didn't communicate what I wanted to communicate, all the times that I've lied to somebody, um, hurt somebody's feelings, all the times I didn't forgive or forgive myself, all these things, these emotions, it was all stored in my energy centers. And finally it reached the crown and that oneness with everything and understanding why everything happens. So if you're ready for a roller coaster of a ride, we are going to begin. And I'm not saying that it's going to open right now as we're doing this video. This is a process. It'll happen when you are ready for it to happen because the universe will not um, put you in a situation that you cannot handle. I'm going to quickly um, I'm gonna pull out serpentine. This is the best crystal that you can use for uh, working with the kundalini energy. So some of the symptoms that you might experience. Um, so as I said, as the energy begins to move up, you will notice, you will feel each chakra's, whatever it's releasing. So initially you'll have a lot of fear. Then you're going to have um, the sexual energy. You're going to feel, you know, aroused. Um, Maybe some stomach issues, some stomach problems. Your heart will have palpitations. You'll, you'll feel like you're having an anxiety attack. Um, your throat, you'll have issues with your throat, whether this is coughing or a lot of phlegm. Um, your third eye, so you'll have a lot of headaches. We're going to have a lot of, you know, third eye headaches. Uh, sometimes it's at the very divot of the back of your neck, which is um, the medulla oblongata. And you know the crown chakra. You'll have tingling on the your the tips of your toes, your feet, um, your palms will get very itchy, and the crown will feel very itchy. So the crown chakra, you'll feel a tremendous itching. It's almost going to feel like dandruff. You'll feel like you know, you're scratching so much that you're releasing so much dead skin cells. Um, so, and it's also as the third eye begins to awaken, it will almost feel like you're having. Um, Hallucinous, hallucinations or you're hearing things etc we want to move past what we're what you're hearing and seeing um, it cannot affect you it does cannot affect your free will it will not affect your um, your journey it, it cannot hurt you it cannot harm you um, so we just want to move past the fear of it and know that it is part of the process it is so just remember it's the process it's part of the process um, and you'll notice synchronicities and signs up the wazoo. You'll, you know, everything will be a sign, synchronicity. Um, it's almost of an instant manifestation energy. It's a very, it feels like a very magical energy. It's the divine feminine. It's very powerful. Um, so the manifestation will be quick and fast. And you'll start attracting your soul family. So strength in numbers so to speak okay and I'm trying to think what else i experienced um but the main the main part is the the arousal you'll feel constantly that feeling of wanting to release wanting to release um so you have to just work with that energy and move it up um because when we we release it without intention it's just you know it's almost like wasting the energy so we want to like use it properly okay so um, we're gonna get started I actually just wanted to throw this into the beginning of the video because I had forgot <laughs> this part of the video so I just wanted to make sure it was in there okay so here we go okay so I'm gonna start with the Reiki symbols This will reach you in all dimensions of time and space, past, present, and beyond. I want you to take three deep breaths. 
I accept this Reiki from Marisela. Okay, so we're gonna begin. And I've got a couple of things. I'm gonna use selenite just to clear the channels, clear out any stagnant energy. And I'm gonna use Jivalingam. want to breathe so this whole process is breathing uh, one of the techniques is breath of fire so with breath of fire uh, it's a lot of breathing through the nose and I know a lot of people have whether they've had a deviated septum or they just cannot breathe properly through their nose so we're just gonna breathe however there is no wrong way or right way to do this it is however it is all about the intention you may have people that tell you it can only be done this way it can only be done this way but there are, it's that's a limited belief system I believe we create our reality so it's whatever you believe in however you can do this okay so I'm gonna just So throughout this whole process, we want to remember to breathe, okay? If you can breathe through your nose, great. If you can't, breathe through your mouth. You want to move it from the root. Now, how we're going to do this is, it's coming from the root. So let's say you're holding in, you know, when you got to go to the bathroom and you hold in your urine, you have to make it stop. That's how we're going to do. So we're going to, in women, it'll be like a Kegel exercise where you're you're holding it. In men, it's going to be like going to the bathroom when you're holding it. So we're going to hold that muscle and we're going to breathe that while you're holding that. Breathe and move it up as far as you can. If you can only move it up to your heart, you can only move it up to your throat. We just want to keep moving the energy and that's what we want to do. We want to just keep breathing keep moving the energy up keep clenching that muscle like if you're holding a bowling ball for women if you're holding a bowling ball inside your vagina you hold that sucker up and try to move it all the way up okay for men it's like you're trying to you know you're having an orgasm and it's releasing it's just suck it back up it's like a reverse orgasm okay so now we're going to start with Ruby. So this is to let go of the fear. The fear of death. The fear of an all wrathful God. The fear of judgment. The fear of what other people think of you. We're going to let go of the fear. We're going to let the ego take a little nap. Remember to keep breathing. Do not forget to breathe from the root to the crown. You can even hold it. For a count of four, release. So I'd like to do the seven four seven method. Breathe in for seven seconds, hold it for four, release for seven. You don't have to. That's just so you can focus on the breathing. Okay? We're moving the root up. Moving that energy from the root up. Like a snake coiled, we're going to move that up. We're going to charm it out. Music is a great way to get it up, get it to go up. Okay. We're going to move on to and if you haven't watched any of my previous chakra videos, I highly recommend them so you can understand what exactly 
could be blocking your energy? What, what things you need to heal? So this is orange jasper. It looks like Nemo, like finding Nemo. <laughs> um, this is for the sacral chakra, so the orange color. We want to focus on orange here. And this is, a, you know, where we hold on to shame and guilt. So we want to release any shame or guilt. We want to forgive ourselves for the things that we've done in the past. You know, I'd say look at your your browser history on your computer, right? Some of the things that maybe some people search might, they might, it might be a little, they wouldn't want people to see that stuff, right? We want to let that go. Okay, we want to let go of the shame of our sexuality. We want to let go of the guilt of the things that we have done to others. We want to let that go. This is, this is us. So we want to start creating a new clean slate. So we're wiping it all. We're clearing the pathways to allow this energy to come up into a new clean slate. So And you can even place your hands on each particular um, area. Left hand out in one particular area and receive that energy from the universe. Okay, so this one, we're releasing the shame. We're letting it all go. The past is the past. It's all about who you are now. Your highest version of yourself now. If you are at this video, you are your highest version of your current self of that you've ever been in all your lives. You are here now. And you are safe. And my crown is tingling already. Let just let it just swim away. Let those the shame and the guilt just swim away. All those things of the past, you are no longer that person. You're being reborn. Okay. Okay. We're moving on to solar plexus. Now this is letting go of control. This is the willpower, right? Sometimes we've got no control, and sometimes we want to control everything. So this is the sun. This is the sun energy. This is the, allows us to move forward with our plans, with our ideas. Allows us to let go of the need to control everything and everyone in our situations. Allows us to go with the flow. Allows us to bring in abundance as well. This allows us to, along with the root, this allows us to know that we are taken care of and bring the abundance that we seek. Don't forget to breathe. Keep breathing. Moving on to the heart. We've got emerald. This is all about empathy, compassion, forgiveness, loving ourselves and those around us. Forgiving, forgiving, forgiving yourself, forgiving others. Empathize, putting yourself in another's shoes. Put yourself in the shoes of those that have hurt you. Put yourself in the shoes of those that you have hurt. Feel it. Feel how they must have felt. Feel how they feel now. If you hurt somebody, feel it. Forgive yourself for it.
forgive. I forgive. I forgive. I love. I love. We let go of the fear of loving, the fear of being hurt. This ruby, we let go of the fear. And we love, no matter what. So the key here is to empathize. We want to empathize. We want to rem we want to acknowledge our faults, as well as put ourselves in the shoes of others. So empathy is is key here. Forgiveness is key. Once we do that, we forgive ourselves. No more holding on to it. No more beating ourselves up about it. No more letting it hold us back. This is um, I I talk about this talked about this before in. Um, soul star chakra video where i said you know the forgetting aspect of being reborn and forgetting it, there is a reason for it because sometimes we don't want to remember these things because um it just it might stifle our growth and a lot of children are being born with remembering and they're holding on to these things these the pain that people have caused them in the past not realizing well this is a new life the slate is wiped clean this is a new a new story and so you want to wipe your slate clean and just forgive. Forgive yourself, forgive those that have hurt you, and move on. We're not saying it, bring them back into your life. We're just saying to just let the pain go. We're not acknowledging that what they did was right. We're just letting it no longer control us and control our emotions and control our life. The heart chakra is, is crucial. We want this is the main energy point. This is where the rest, this is the hub, I call it, like the highway hub. This is the main airport here. These are all little mini airports. This is the main one. They're all equally as valuable, but this is where the energy all meets, like a, almost like a figure eight. This is like a figure eight. Don't forget to breathe. Keep breathing. Okay, now we're gonna move up to the throat. <coughs> Some may feel the need to cough. Clear that energy out. So to clear this energy point, you know, this is all about speaking our truth, communicating expressing ourselves in whatever form uh, expression so when we're not expressing ourselves uh, when we're not when we're holding things in this creates a blockage in the throat chakra so you might have a lot of sore throats um, a lot of mucus and phlegm um, when this energy center is either blocked or overflown or um, too much energy is flowing through there you might be too blunt in your communication. I always say, uh, truth without kindness is cruelty. So we always want to come from a heart center. Is this, it all, they all work in unison. We want to be fearless in our communication, but we want to speak, speak from our hearts compassionately with tact and kindness, but we want to speak our truth. We want to express our vision. So when the third eye and the throat are working together, we are visualizing and expressing what we see, our vision. We're expressing how we feel. Um, so expression. So we want to clear that out. And we want to, you know, a great way to really clear it out, scream into your pillow. If So you're used to not communicating because you're afraid of... Uh, you know, maybe walking around eggshells around certain people and you're, you don't want to communicate because you don't want to rock the boat, that will create the blockage. So um, if you are in a place where you cannot communicate with these people because sometimes it just creates more friction, more conflict, uh, you know, scream into a pillow, write in a journal. We want to be able to express it, even if we can't express it to that particular person. Um, let's say if you were hurt in the past by somebody and you hold, you're holding on to that. You know, a lot of people that were molested by somebody as a child um, you know, they can't really express it because it will create tremendous conflict within a family. So this is saying, um, if you, if you 
you know, you, you gauge the situation. If you know that it's just going to create more chaos to speak your truth, then you express it in other ways, whether this is artistically, whether this is journaling. You know, you have to know when. Because if everybody just spoke their truth, the world would just be in tremendous chaos. But from chaos comes clarity. Um, eventually things settle down. So use your discernment when speaking your truth. Is it going to create more conflict, more chaos? Find a different way to express. Find a, a therapist. You know, it doesn't have to be expressed to the whole world. It could just be to a trusted confidant, a therapist. So remember, breathe. Sing, sing, even if you don't think you're a great singer. Sing, 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 that'll clear the vocal cords. Sing songs that um, say how you feel, you know, write a song. Okay, and now we're going to move. And cough. If you have to cough, cough. <coughs> Get it out. Okay? So, we're moving on to the third eye. And we're going to be using lapis lazuli for this. You know, the Egyptians used to use a lot of emerald and lapis in conjunction. Visualize love. Okay? So, the third eye is all about visualization. So, we want to envision the energy Along with the breathing, we're envisioning this energy moving up the spine through all the energy points. We're moving up, you want to envision it, visualize it. So it's all about visualizing. Like John Lennon saying, imagine, imagine this, imagine your Kundalini energy, imagine the awakening, imagine waking up. This process requires visualization. We want to use all the chakras in conjunction. Visualize love. Visualize how you want to see the world. Visualize relationships that you want to have. Visualize connections that you want to make. Visualize the world that you want to see around you. Be that. So we're going to place this on the third eye. Suggest so tapping with your finger on your third eye. You want to tap. So, a lot of us, um, this was closed at a young age, whether this was through um, being told that what we see is not real, being told not to live in a fantasy world, being told, you know, that our vision could never happen, that it'll never happen. Um, this usually closes that. And this, the third eye opening can be a very scary experience for some. And I think this is the aspect of the Kundalini. Once it gets, once we get past the fear aspect of what we're seeing, because you can see into different dimensions, you can see um, heaven, hell, you can see all these things that we've created. This is all what we've created. So a lot of people, if they have in their DNA ancestry, a lot of religious programming, they may see hell or their interpretation of hell, whatever that may be. Um, there's a movie called What Dreams May Come. And I always say, there, I always quote this one scene where it says, what is hell? It is your life gone wrong. So if your life is completely chaotic and gone wrong, 
that is your version of hell and you can get yourself out of it by intending to to know that you are in heaven to know that you are in a world that you want to be in we have to create it it's the reality it's the creation aspect of this the sacral chakra so when you're going through hell keep going so the deeper you go into the rabbit hole of the spiritual journey you got to keep going till the reach till you reach the other side it's like if you have the globe and you go through it the deeper you go eventually you're going to come out the other side the other side of things you'll see the other side of things you'll see so I see is this mantra I see I see I see vision this blue indigo color light beaming out of your eyes like a tell it like I'd say like a cone here is your here's your eye envision it like this sh shooting out like a telescope envision that cone the pineal is a cone pine cone envision it coming out both sides, right? Like that. I see, I see, I see, see. Okay, now we're moving up to the crown. Okay, so this is a, a, when it gets to the crown, we feel that oneness with everything and everyone. We are connected with everything. I am you, you are me. I love you, I love me. I see you, I see me. Now the crown chakra is silence so breathing and silence so for this particular one I'm gonna just be quiet and we're gonna focus on our breathing okay Feel your crown tingle. Move that energy up.
cave. My heart is racing. Okay, we're just gonna do a quick run through. Moving back down. We're gonna go back down. So we went up, now we're going back down. I know the mantra for the crown is, I understand, I know, I understand, I know, I understand, I know. Third eye, I see, I see, I see, I see. throat chakra. I speak. I express. I speak. I express. I speak. I express. Heart. I love. I love. I love. Solar plexus. I will. I will. I will. Sacral. I create. I create. I create. Root chakra. I am. I am safe. I am. I am safe. I am. I am safe. And this whole time, I've had a crystal here to help us move the energy up and down, up and down. Serpentine. This is the crystal that I recommend the most when working with Kundalini energy because it will uh, harmonize the chakras. So sometimes we will feel too much energy in a particular chakra. This will spread and disperse that energy out. So it'll also help with the symptom, the, the blue balls of symptoms that I discussed earlier. It'll help with that. Anything will help. Uh, intention will help. Just moving when you're feeling a certain energy coming through. Breathe it up. If you're feeling the emotion of the heart, breathe it up. You want to breathe. When we breathe, we secrete DMT into our lungs. And the pineal gland will begin to secrete the DMT as well. We'll begin to see, we'll begin to feel. You will feel, you will feel. And remember, you are safe. You have the willpower to overcome anything. This is the divine feminine rising. This is connecting to your power that you were born with. This divine wisdom that was shut off maybe sometime in your childhood, by life. It's like the little prince. You are still that divine, amazing child inside. 
It's time to play again. It's time to dream again. It's time to create miracles. <sighs> Thank you all so much for watching. I truly am grateful for all of you. Uh, if you have any questions or anything, please feel free to comment. Um, I'll do my best to respond in a timely manner. Thank you all so much. Namaste.